Hello, everyone. I appreciate the opportunity to be here uh, virtually, I guess. Um, it's uh, something that I guess we all got used to over the last couple of years. But, uh, but it's, it's great to be able to connect with people still no matter what. Uh, my name is Connor Daly, obviously. Uh, IndyCar driver, um, race car driver, because I'll drive anything really. Uh, and I'm kind of here to share a bit of my story, a bit of my journey of, of how I got to where I am now uh, and kind of the battles that I've faced uh, through my life and mainly, you know, through living with type 1 diabetes. Um, I, I started racing when I was, when I was 10 years old. Uh, my, my father was a race car driver. My, my family was big into racing. My mom uh, raced jet skis. My mom worked at a racetrack. Uh, and so all of us all of us were somehow involved in racing. Uh, I have three younger brothers as well, uh, who are not quite as into racing as me, thankfully, because that, that probably would have put my mother through too much stress. Uh, and I started racing go karts as any as any other driver would, young age, small small person. Uh, and as I started to get older, we started realizing that this was pretty serious. Uh, age 10, 11, 12, 13. And then when I was 14, you know, we start to think about what comes next. Is, is, is car racing next? Do we move up from go-karts to cars? Uh, and along that time period, uh, I started noticing, you know, a lot of interesting things going on in my body, losing a lot of weight, uh, very, very thirsty all the time. And, and kind of, it got to a point where it was, uh, you know, very, very strange, we'll say. And uh, so my parents, actually, when I got to my very first racing school, uh, which yes, there are racing schools, believe it or not, uh, to go from go-karts to cars. Uh, my, my family was like, nah, we should probably go to the doctor and just and, like get you checked out here. Cause this is a bit of a, an odd deal. So, uh, went there and you know, the doctor said, congratulations, you have type one diabetes. And, uh, I don't think it was as exciting as that, but, uh, I kind of didn't know what that was at the time. My family didn't know what that was at the time. Uh, we were all, Kind of a bit surprised and uh, and and didn't really know what was going to go on. But for me personally, um, I, I never really accepted it as something that was ever going to stop me. Like we were in the hospital for two days, maybe uh, learning all about what was going on, this new challenge that we had to face here, uh, and was racing the next weekend. So I was back in a go kart pretty quickly. Uh, didn't really have you know a thought about what was going to happen? Was it going to stop me? Was I going to face a lot of challenges now? All I had to really do is a little bit more work. And, uh, you know, and as, as I've gotten older, every single day, I think I learned more. Um, you know, I started racing cars when I was 15 and, and won my very first championship the very first year I was in cars. So, uh, it started off very strong, started off pretty quickly and not really many people knew that I had diabetes. I was just kind of, you know, living my life. Uh, and you know, we ended up having you know, quite a lot of success as we, as we came through the lower ranks of racing, um, won basically two of the three, uh, championships on the way to IndyCar, uh, before I, before I started to go to Europe to try to pursue formula one. Uh, and that, you know, that's something that you really only get to do once in your life when you're young. And, you know, I was 18, a lot of people when they're 18, they go to college and I moved to England by myself uh, to race in, in Europe. So it was a, it was a very, very interesting journey. Uh, you know, again, learning a lot about diabetes while I'm on the road, while I'm, you know, traveling from country to country. And, uh, you know, does it does it make life challenging? Yes, absolutely. But in, in no way was I ever, uh, you know, was I ever thinking, oh, you know what, I'm going to stop what I love to do, uh, you know, because of this. So uh, it's been a it's been a really interesting journey. I, I got you know spent four years in Europe, basically my college years, um, and you know was a Formula One reserve driver, was racing in Formula Three, Formula Two, um, you know with a lot of guys that are in Formula One now. Uh, won a lot of races over there, and ended up coming back to IndyCar to try out the Indy Five Hundred. Uh, and the Indy Five Hundred is 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 you know the the ultimate goal, the ultimate race. Uh, the largest, you know, world's largest attended sporting event, you know, single day sporting event in the, in the entire universe. So uh, for us and for me being an Indiana kid, uh, that meant a lot. You know, 2013 was my very first Indy 500. I was 21 years old. Um, and really since then, you know, we've been going for, you know, for that famous glass of milk, the, the win at the Indianapolis 500 and, and also really any other IndyCar race as well, because they're all quite important. So 
Um, you know, once once I started to get into IndyCar full time, uh, you know, 2016, 17. Uh, you did a lot of racing, uh, you know, other other racing as well, sports car racing, uh, NASCAR truck racing. Uh, I've, I've I've really tried to do anything and everything because, I mean, I just I love driving stuff. So it's 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 just as simple as that. And as as we've you know gone through this diabetes journey as well, I mean, we're talking the amount of different cars that we've driven now, the amount of different situations. Uh, it, it gives me so much confidence to just continue doing whatever you know whatever I kind of dream about I guess but also you know with diabetes it's 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 not it's not ever been an issue so uh it's I say it's not been an issue but it's just not been something that's ever stopped me it is hard like I I always tell people like any any kid that I meet or anyone else that I meet with type 1 diabetes I'm like look guys I get the challenges that you're going through like I completely understand like no one ever said it was easy but like I'm I'm just telling you you can do it and 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 that's what's really cool to you know to to share with folks um, and as technology has gotten so much better, you know, with CGMs, uh, inhalable insulin, I mean, my gosh, I, I would have never thought five or six years ago, you know, we'd be where we are today, which is really, really cool. Um, and, and now obviously racing, you know, full time in IndyCar still, uh, and, and being able to compete at the highest level, you know, with, with some of the best drivers in the world is, is something that realistically i i i I guess i never thought i would be doing when i started out but i also don't mind where i'm at now you know what i mean i'm like i sound like hey all right cool like let's do this and now we want to stay here you know what i mean and and uh my my parents are always learning as well like even still my mom has questions she's like oh so like if you eat that what are we doing here what are we doing there and uh, it's 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 interesting to bring them along for the journey because um, you know, it's a team effort. Like I have a race team around me and, and they're willing to help, you know, whenever necessary. If I show up to the race and we're walking to the grid and I, you know, I look at, look whatever my blood sugar is and I need, let's say water or something with sugar in it. We have both of those options available and we always rely on the team, you know, for that, uh, which is, which is really, really cool. So, um, I, I think there's, there's a lot that I look forward to in the future, um, you know, we're, we're, we've come so far in the last few years, which is awesome. And, you know, when I think back to, uh, racing in general, when I was racing in Europe and I was young and I didn't really know stuff when I signed my first formula one contract, which was really, really cool. You know, I was a reserve driver, test driver, all this stuff. They said to me, they said, Hey, uh, don't mention anything about your diabetes. And I was like, well, that's weird. Why? Like, I mean, sure. Like I, I won't, if you guys don't want me to. Um, but, uh, but now, you know, it's, it's something that I, I really wish I would have, you know, started talking about sooner because it's something that I think is, is, is very, very, uh, you know, helpful to others because, you know, I, I went to high school when I was in high school, there was only one person with uh, type one diabetes and, and, uh, and I basically didn't really know that person until I also got diagnosed with diabetes. And then you start kind of understanding the community and you start talking to people and, uh, it's actually something that, you know, I think I, I, I enjoy learning from others as, as to kind of what they face in, in their, you know, in their, uh, you know, fight every day. And, and I, I think any time that I get to meet, you know, young people or, or even adults that have kind of lived with it for as, as long as me, I mean, I just, I had at the race last, last Sunday, uh, I had someone come up to me and be like, Hey, here's my CGM. And I was like, Oh, Hey, like, cool. Me too. You know what I mean? So it's something that kind of feels like you're a part of a team and, and, uh, you know, for me, it's something that I, I, I love being able to share the experience, uh, you know, with others. So uh, I think for us now, we've got a lot to focus on physically in the cars. Like right now, when it comes to motor racing, people think, oh, well, they're just driving around. Like it's, uh, you know, it's, it's very simple. We all drive, you know, our cars on the highway. Very, very easy. We're going to get in. We have power steering, air conditioning, all kinds of fun. Everything's wonderful. For us, we don't have any of that. No power steering, no air conditioning. Um, you know, we're burning 2,000 calories or more, you know, in, in, in one race. Um, you know, it's about 130 to 140 degrees in the car. We're losing a ton of water weight. Uh, people just don't realize this because if, if I go outside and tell you, go drive your car at 240 miles an hour, well, you're not going to be able to. And I know that if I go outside and try to throw a football, I'm not going to be in the NFL. And if I try to shoot a three pointer or 23 pointers in a row, I'm not going to be in the NBA. And I can know that like pretty solidly. 
But the racing part is so hard to basically get people involved in because it's just not really accessible. It's, it's just hard. And I think the, the funniest thing to do with people is take them go-karting. I'm going to take you to a little indoor go-kart track down the street, and we're going to get you in those carts, and we're going to run for 10 minutes. Are your hands, like, are your, are your forearms throbbing? Are you sweating? Are you having a difficult time going as fast as me? Probably. And that's kind of like the first the first thing that I always tell people is like, look, this is why we train every day. We've got drivers that train like triathletes. We've got a, Scott Dixon, another race car driver in IndyCar, won a triathlon in the middle of the year this year. I'm like, well, that's great. I'm glad he's doing that. I don't want to do that, but we have to train at that level. Like we're, we're at, at the level of competing against some of the most elite athletes in the world. Um, and I love sharing that with people and, and kind of going into detail, showing them, hey, look, our heart rate for two and a half hours is averaging of 155, maxing at one, over 180. And they're like, well, that's hard. And I'm like, yes, this is, this is not an easy game at all. And, uh, and, I, and I love being able to share that with people. And again, the more and more technology that we have, live streaming heart rates, all this stuff, people are getting a much more in tune look at how difficult racing is and now that we're using cgms and we're using all these different things to you know to help us perform at elite level um it's 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 something that i think people are now recognizing more and more um so the 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 training side is something that again with diabetes you got to focus really hard on it for me i try to train every single day and when you try to train for a motor racing event it's, it's very, very difficult because you could never really get to the level you're at while you're in the car. Uh, it's just, it's just not, not really possible because of the forces that are going through your body, the, the G loads, the sweat. You can sweat at the gym for an hour and a half, two hours, but it's still not the same. So all we try to do is, is, is train twice a day, every day. I have a trainer in the gym in the morning make sure you know the blood sugar is all right for there it's interesting to see what my blood sugar does during a training effort compared to a race um i i I look at every single race and everyone's a little bit different right but it's something that you know preparation for me is key and i i always try to stay very very consistent on race weekends i have the same meal every single day before the race i have the same uh you know the same same drinks available to me whether it's gatorades or water whatever necessary um, we, we use the same, you know, hydration tablets to make sure that, you know, I'm very, very hydrated cause I'm, uh, you know, a very sweaty ginger Irishman. So I sweat very aggressively and maybe more so than others. Uh, and so I, you know, I have to be ready, you know, ready for that as well. So, uh, there's, there's so much that, that, that we really put into this. Um, that I that I really enjoy sharing with people, and you know the next level, you know when we when we go into next year, we you know we start training in the off season. You know, the season's obviously almost over now. Um, you know the goal is to not you know to not lose any of the any of the ability that we've gained this year in training. You know this year I think was the hardest year for sure in IndyCar that I've been in. So now we take that and we say, all right, we're going to take this this level of training to you know to a, to an even higher level to be ready for next year. Uh, and I think that's. That's a fascinating part of racing that that people just you know just aren't aware of, and uh, you know I always I always enjoy uh, you know sharing that, and I think you know for me, living with diabetes has has been a challenge. I think every day there's something that is uh, you know you're you're questioning. There's something that you know am I doing this right? Am I doing this wrong? What what else can I do? You know I wish this was fixed, but realistically when we have all the you know the technology and and the the advancements and and stuff that that that, that are that are really just to help us. Um, it's it's an incredible sight to see. So, I uh, I I always want to make sure to, if if to tell people that if they see me, if they want to come up to me at a race, I mean I'm happy to talk about it. I'm very very easy to talk to. Don't mind at all if you if you ask about diabetes, if you ask about racing, if you ask about anything, because I think racing is a sport that. People really just don't know much about it other than the fact that we kind of go in circles and turn left and right sometimes. So always happy to, to answer those questions for folks. Um, and, you know, to, to be here and be able to share my story. Um, you know, there, there's not many of us out there in motorsport, you know, living with, with type 1 diabetes. And there's not, you know, when I do get to meet an athlete like Mark Andrews with the, uh, you know, with the, with the Baltimore Ravens, incredible type 1 diabetic athlete. Like talking to guys like that, um, is actually very, very special for me because I, I don't see myself at that level, 
But to, to talk to guys like that, I, I would encourage anyone with type 1 diabetes, go talk to those guys because they will talk to you. I, I, I think so, at least. I hope so. But it's, it's fun to chat with other, other athletes that, that are living with diabetes as well. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a wild ride. But for me, I, uh, you know, I'm happy to, you know, happy to be able to share this story and appreciate the support from everyone here. And um, you know what? Come talk to us. Come to a race. Come and, and enjoy it with us. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I appreciate the opportunity to, uh, you know, to share and, and chat with everyone.